Hey guys, Todd here. Mechanical mods. I love mechanical mods. Uh, they are my thing. Now, imagine you wanted a dripper, but that dripper would have adjustable airflow. It would be able to operate from 1.7, 2.2, 2.7, 3.2 and 4 ohms. You could adjust it so that it could give you any of those resistances on the fly. No mucking about. Just twist something and it works. Change the resistance. Stainless steel. It sounds strange. Um, and it's also crap. <laughs> it's a lot of bollocks. Um, I've, I suppose I've been reviewing for about a year now and I've seen some pretty cool stuff and I've seen some pretty bad stuff but this rates as the worst device I've ever seen. Uh, this is the VRDA, the Variable Resistance Dripping Atomizer and it comes as you see there uh, with a drip tip in the top. Um, now I'm going to take that drip tip off because I don't like it for a start. I uh, hate mine drip tips. Don't know why, just do. And I'll put my own drip tip on it. A bit shorter, that's a bit better. And I'm going to twist this and I'm going to select. Where am I going to select? Where's the mark? I'm going to go, I can go from 1.7. I can actually go to dual coil 1.5. I can go to dual coil 2 uh, and up to 4. But uh, I'm going to go for 1.7. I've got all the air holes set to fully open. And here in the fully charged battery. Terrible vape, um, terrible. I mean, it's <sighs> why is it terrible? Right, I'll tell you. Um, let's just skip to the chase. I'll shift the camera and we'll get in and show you what's wrong with this thing. Right, here we go. The VRD by C tra 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 C Tratech or whoever the hell they are. And it's got a TM next to the VRD. It's got a logo there. And it's also got uh, a bin on it, a wheelie bin on it, and it's got C written on it. And the only thing it's missing is a map showing directions to your local Tesco's. Um, <laughs> you've got four air holes here, which you can adjust. And um, we'll come back to that. But down the bottom, you'll see there is an indicator here a little triangle and written on here you have like 1.7 joule 1 1.5 joule 2 ohm 4 ohms 3.2 3.7 2.2 1 1.7 and, and so on okay look at this it wobbles it just wobbles. That's <laughs> amazing. It's amazing how much it wobbles. Uh, right, I'll take the top cap off and show you the air holes. Look at that. Well, seriously, look at that. Now, here is, you see the slit there? It's just cut out for your air holes so you can adjust the draw. Now, this is my first gripe. The coils are up here. Okay? Coils are up there. Uh, so, okay, you're drawing air underneath and, and up, but, you know, your air hole is usually in front of your coil. My understanding, and always has been my understanding. Uh, but, you know, this just that's the first thing that baffles me. That's why I think it gives a poor vape. It gives harsh throat hit. Uh, it's not a very 
nice vape. You know, the, the throat, the the pure throat, well, not pure throat hit, but the fact the throat hit it does give, it's very harsh. Now, uh, so if I set this to, here's the indicator I'm going again, if I set this to 1.7, which is hard to see in this light, and I'll fire this. Look, we get a light, and there's a coil in there somewhere burning away. It's about two and a half miles away from the air hole. Let's change it up to, where's that indicator going again? Keep losing it. Dual coil, 1.5. Dual coil, 2 ohm. We're not going to get anything. I mean, the further up we go here, you know, it's why I would have 4 ohm, I don't know. Uh, 3.2, you know, next to nothing. And so on and so forth. So back to, I'll go back to dual coil 1.5. Now this is how it comes. It comes with all these coils and all these wires and uh, and and I'm just baffled as to why you would want this. Uh, now if you're going up to two ohm, four, three point two, two point seven. If you're operating in that resistance, you need variable voltage, in my opinion. This is my, don't get this wrong, this is all my opinion. You need, going above 2 ohms, I reckon you need variable voltage. Um, now, if you've got variable voltage, why would you want a device where you can select the resistance if you have variable voltage? I don't get that. Uh, also, this is how it comes set up. Now, obviously, somewhere when I set this to one point, uh, dual coil 1.5, now there's obviously two coils in there uh, that are going to give me that 1.5. Now, when I go to rebuild this, you are going to have to be able to set up, you're going to need a digital multimeter. A resistance checker of some description so that you know exactly what resistance those coils are going to be. If you don't know how to measure resistance, if you don't know how to set up your coils to specific resistance, then you're stuffed. You're absolutely stuffed. Um, and if you have to change, I mean, you're not just going to change one coil, you're going to change the whole lot out here. So, that's it showing up close. Uh, let's get away from this. Maybe I'm missing something. There's probably a good chance I am, and there'll probably be lots of people that will say, but it's good for this and it's good for that. If it is, then great. Why the hell it's got a bulb in the bottom of the well? I just don't know. Um, I am not even going to attempt to rebuild this because I am not prepared to invest the time that it's going to take to set this up. The other thing is I've had this on my voltmeter, uh, my little box of tricks that measures resistance. I've had it on my DNA mod to double check the resistance and I can tell you now that these measurements so when it says it's at 1.7 it's not when it says it's at 2 it's not it's there's a plus or minus of about 5 so when you're at 1.7 the chances are well it read 2.1 when I measured it uh, 4 ohms was 3.2 it was all over the shop it really was um, do you know, as a kind of gadget twist on what's available out there just now, um, I'm just changing the air hole, you know, I can just slide the top cap to change the, 
air holes. I'm just going to put it down to two air holes. That's a bit better. And I'll set it to dual coil. Here's the indicator again, because I keep losing that. Dual coil 1.5. That's really not nice. Um, that's really not nice. It's not a nice vape at all. Um, I mean, you, I could rant here all day about this thing. I mean, and who drilled the air holes out? I mean, were they drunk at the time? Were they just having a bad day? I mean, they're not even straight. They're squint. Um, somebody will probably tell me it's meant to be like that, but no, uh, I don't believe you if you do say it's meant to be like that. Uh, I detest this thing. If you want, if you're into mechanicals, if you're into mechanicals, and you want a dual coil dripper set up, you'll set a dual coil dripper up because the chances are you're going to vape that for however long. If you want to set up a, a 1.6, 1.7 ohm coil in it instead, then it'll take you no time at all to set that up. You know, undo two screws, wrap, bung it in, and that's you, you're away. Um, why you would want as why you would want a 4 ohm resistance coil uh, or a 3.2 or a 2.7 resistance coil on this because it's got to be geared for mechanicals it has to be geared for mechanicals and if it if it was geared for as I said if it was geared for anything else other than mechanicals it's a waste of time because you have variable, vo variable voltage and variable wattage so you can get whatever you need out of that coil. You can pump as much power to it as you want. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I'm not going to destroy this. I'm going to keep it here and I'll wait for the inevitable torrent of abuse I'll get for doing this video. Because <laughs> I will. And uh, if people can come out and give me positive feedback after they've used this and said, we did this, we did that, this made all the difference, then I'll give it a go. But right now, it's crap. Uh, I mean, you've got all these coils hidden at different levels and behind other coils. And my head's going to fucking explode. I'm away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Speak to you later, guys. Cheers.